Hi guys, how are you doing? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video, which is going to be a Sainsbury's um, grocery haul today because I've just come back from the supermarket, my supermarket of choice today with Sainsbury's, which I think, apart from going to the Tesco's odd once or twice, a month now Sainsbury's is like my major shop these days um and if you haven't watched all of my other grocery hauls then I'll leave the playlist up there but first off if you're new hi welcome my name is Matt welcome to my channel we do lots of videos like this as well as come shop with me's other hauls like fashion hauls and stuff like that so if that is your kind of jam then take a moment to subscribe it's free no cost to you and we do a grocery haul once a month so if that is your kind of cup of tea then you'll definitely want to take a moment to subscribe down below but i'm going to switch it over now and going to show you what i picked up in sainsbury's today um for november um i spent £16.51. I did do a smart shop today, which when you, you know, you go around and scan the stuff as you go. So I managed to get some discounts on that, which is a great tip. But I'll flip you over now and I'll show you what I got. So this is an overview of every thing I picked up. As I said, I spent £16.51 today, did a smart shop. So I got discounts as well, which I'm always confused about how that works on here. Um, but here we go, and if you can hear rain and wind, it's raining and it's windy. So I'm going to go around as, like, as on the receipt, which is how I picked everything up. So I got these two, I got two lots of bananas because I'm trying to, sorry about the rusting, that's a receipt, I'm trying to eat two bananas in the morning now. Um, so it fills me up more. I then got some blueberries, which were 150, no, one. 75 which I think they're on reduction or is that huh yes no no they weren't on reduction the raspberries were I think these were £1.89 and then I got them for £1.46 I got some spring onions these were £1.49 I got some wild rocket which was £1 I got a whole cucumber which was £49 P. I then got some baby cucumbers because I haven't had those in a while and I thought actually maybe they would be quite good to cut up and take to work like just cut them in half and take them to work quite good I think um I then got some baby plum tomatoes they were a pound I then did pick up a beef lasagna ready meal I know um because I'm gonna have that today because I'm literally done workers wore me out so that was 125 but I got it for 97p on the smart shop um what else did I get I got some bread over here the extra thick soft toasties this is just the same as bread um which was do, 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 90p but then I got it one for 74p on the Sainsbury's um smart shop nectar prices things I then got some popcorn at the back here. This is normally a pound, but we've again with the Sainsbury's Nectar Card pricing, I got it for 85p. I love me. That is my favourite sweet corn. I'm very particular on sweet corn. Like the little and Aldi ones. No, 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 no. Can't have those. The, that is one of my favourites, if not like the butter kiss ones. And it has to be sweet. I'm sorry. I can't do salt. I can't do sweet and salt. I can't do toffee. It's just sweet all the way. Okay. <laughs> And then we've got some Quavers, which were £1.50, no like price reduction on that. I then got some, where is it? Some dairy milk caramel, I know. Um, I did buy some of that, that's one twenty-five. I then did get some, I actually got two lots of pasta, because um, I thought while I was here, I will just get it. Um, and it was fairly cheap, so, well this one is anyway. This was, which probably has gone up in price, the spaghetti, but the quick cook penne um was originally 95p i swear it didn't it swear it was like 60p like at the beginning of the year wasn't it i need to look back and do like a comparison of all the um come shop with me um hauls or grocery hauls i've done but i anyway i got the penny for 78p and then the spaghetti was 46p and that is like a kilogram i believe yeah it's a kilogram so it's really good um and then i got Last thing, mango and passion fruit smoothie. I really like that. And this was also on the net card prices. So it's normally £1.60, but I got it for £1.15. I can literally drink a whole one of those in one go. It's so bad. But it's probably not bad because it's a lot of sugar, but it's really good for you, isn't it? But yeah, so yeah. 
that is everything I got from Sainsbury's today. I know I the last one of these I did was a Sainsbury's one as well, I know. Um, but I have I have been to a few places, I've been to MS and stuff, but I didn't pick up enough to do one of this. Um and this is going to be like I'll probably go back maybe Friday or Saturday because there's two things that I did not pick up today which I normally pick up on my shop. Strawberries, they didn't have any at all, and pineapple chunks, which I don't buy a whole pineapple because who's got time to cut up a whole pineapple? I certainly don't. I don't want to risk cutting myself. I'm, my mum, and I think I told this story before, but my mum's got like one of the pineapple cutters and that looks dangerous as it is, thanks. Um, so I'll pass on cutting up a pineapple and just paying the little bit uh, extra to have it pre-cut. Um, and when I say pre-cut, Tesco's do it in like, you can get it in chunks, which is more expensive, like pre-cut into like actual squares, whereas you get strips of it in the Sainsbury's one, which is much better. And it's usually on my net to card pricing, but, and it was today, but they did not have any in. They have mango, which is like a pound more, but I don't really want to buy the mango. I wanted the pineapple. So I might have to go back on like Friday and stuff. I might have to go back anyway to get a few for more things, but it shouldn't cost me anything more than another 16 pounds. So like that's what, 32 quid for the week. So that is not too shabby, especially in this day and age. Um, and I was thinking on the way back in the car, I was like at the beginning of like when we were in lockdown and things, I used to do like 45 pound shops. I don't know, and like one go, I was like, how, how, how did I do that? I cannot comprehend how I did that back then. Um, I need to go rewatch it. As I said, I think I might do a rewatch of like reacting to what I bought or like showing like the comparisons, like this is how much it was two years ago to compare to this is what it is now. That would be really interesting, I think, to have a look back. Um, because I've been watching Ever, Ev what's his name? Evan Edinger, can't even say it, his videos recently where he has done comparison between shops between England and America and how much the um, grocery difference is, which I find really interesting because I like this kind of stuff. But yes, I will try and go to some different supermarkets at some point. I want to go to M&S and see how expensive they are. I have gone to M&S recently to buy some of my shopping, but I didn't film what I got because there was not enough to film. Um, really, it was just a few bits of fruit and I really do rate their fruit and it's not any more expensive, if not a little bit, if not not, um, than the other places really. And it's really good because it's like M&S, isn't it? Um, and I don't really like buying fruit in Lidl and Aldi because I feel like it goes off so quickly. But yes, let me know what your supermarket of choice is down below and what your experiences are. Are you a M&S person, a Sainsbury's person, a Tesco's person, an Aldi or Lidl? Or do you do what I do and sometimes go to all of them really? But yeah, let me know down below. If you're not ready, please take a moment to subscribe. It's free. There's no cost to you involved. If you love a come shop with me around like Primark, Zara, Vista Village, all that kind of jam. Um, as well as loads of other places and hauls, grocery hauls, two good go bags, um, style videos, other vlogs. If you like that kind of thing, over four videos a week, then, well, normally four, if not three. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then bonus on Sunday. But yeah, if you like that, then definitely stick around and subscribe and ring my bell to be notified when I upload and also follow my Instagrams, which are always linked down below. But other than that, I'm gonna let you go because my arm hurts. I'm gonna let you go now and hope it all are well and yes thank you guys so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one bye